Hi everybody, welcome to today's video. Now I've uh, I've taken on some on board some advice from my wife. She said uh, a couple of my previous videos were a bit too frowny. I was a little bit too serious. So today I'm going to smile a bit more, and to help that I'm going to talk to you about puppies in a way that I think will will hopefully help you in in the things that you might be dealing with in in your head. So if you think of your thoughts as being a bit like puppies, for most people that that are having a bit of a, a tough time of things and are maybe struggling to, to get a handle on something like their weight. Thoughts can be a bit like puppies. They can be all over the place. They can be doing whatever they want, wherever they want, and pulling up the carpet and peeing on the floor and being little pains in the bum. And that's what puppies do. They, they do what they want, but they have the capacity to be trained. And you train a puppy through repetition through doing the same thing again and again and again and and setting your expectations. This is what I want from you. So if you were to take that puppy for a walk and you get to a junction at a road and and you give the leader a tug and you say, sit. Now the puppy probably ignores you completely and sniffs a lamppost or, or wanders off in a different direction. That's what puppies do. But if you do that at every single junction you get to, that repetition and the fact that you don't cross the road until it actually does sit down and then you go, good boy. And that's when you go across the road. The puppy starts to learn. It learns that you're the pack leader. It learns that you're the one that's in control and says what happens and when. And as that puppy gets older, as it gets more familiar with that, that process and what's expected of it, it can, it can get to a point where you arrive at a road and instead of giving a, a sharp command, sit. It's more sit. And they do. And then a little while later, you get to a junction and, and they just sit. You don't say a word. They've learned. They've learned what's expected of them. And they begin to do what's expected of them because you've made it very clear that you don't cross that road until they do sit. Your thoughts could be exactly the same. They're in your head, which means you can control them. They're not being beamed into there from, from outer space or anything. You're creating them inside there and experiencing them inside there. And it's your head. It's your thoughts. It's your life. So by, by seeing those thoughts in a different way, by putting yourself back in the driving seat, you can begin to see what it is you can do to be more in control. And this technique actually loops back to the, the first video that I did about shut up where you just say to thoughts that you don't want or need, shut up, taking control. It's about being that pack leader. It's about saying what you demand, what you expect. And the things that don't fit into that, you tell them to piss off because you're the boss, because you're in control and what you say goes. And if you want thoughts that aren't helpful or useful to go, tell them to go. My name's Richard. I help people to change aspects of how they think, how they feel and how they behave so that they have happier, healthier lives. If you'd like to talk to me about something that you'd like to change, get in touch. I'd love to hear from you. Focused hypnosis. What would you change?